All right, hello everybody. This is gonna be a pretty quick tutorial on how to migrate your virtual machines from one storage pool to the other on a Synology NAS. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to have to do is make sure that whatever shares you've got are both BTRFS. BTRFS is Synology's proprietary file system, and it's actually the way that snapshots are used. I've also got a link to a tutorial on how you use snapshots with the virtual machines here. So the first thing you're actually gonna to wanna to do is go into DSM. That's the web interface for your Synology NAS. All right, so once you're in here, we're gonna go into Virtual Machine Manager. And so first off, we're gonna to want to make the new storage pool for the new cluster. So we're gonna go in storage and just create add. All right, so now we'll, we choose which volume to store our new storage pool on. For me, the only one left to choose is volume three because volume one already has a storage pool on it and volume two is not a BTRFS volume. So here you can name it. So this is my RAID 0 SSD pool where I don't care if anything dies on here, I just want it to run quickly. I'm also going to be doing an automated backup between this one and my main storage pool, which is at RAID 5. So now we just hit apply and it's gonna go ahead and configure the storage pool for us. All right, so that was incredibly quick. So now we're going to go up to our virtual machines. So I'm gonna to wanna to move my video virtual machine from my RAID 5 storage pool to my RAID 0 SSD storage pool. So it's really easy. First, make sure it's powered off. After that, right click on it and just click migrate. It's gonna give you the options if you've got Pro VM to change the running host, that's where you can have a cluster of Synologies actually all running hosts together, but I'm assuming most of you do not have that. But the only option other than that is to change the storage location. So we're gonna do that. And we're gonna move it to SSD speed. And so here it does a great job of actually telling us what's gonna happen. So before it's on tank, that's what I called my big Synology on storage pool one, and it's still gonna be on tank after migration, but this one's gonna be on SSD speed, that storage pool we just made. So just hit apply. All right, now it's actually gonna take surprisingly long to migrate, considering how this is only actually taking up 2.1 gigabytes. I don't know why it takes so long, it'll take about three or four minutes, but yeah, it really shouldn't take that long. All right, well that took forever. It took three minutes to transfer two gigabytes. Can't imagine how long that would take if you took a, had a 500 gigabyte drive, but hey, it still transfers and it migrates safely. So now we're gonna power on to make sure it works. And we can also see that it's successfully migrated. It is now on SSD speed. But let's wait a minute and make sure it actually boots up properly. All right, so once again, due to the magic of video editing, we can now connect to it. And boom, it works just like every other virtual machine you've got, but now it's on a different drive. This can be really helpful because I personally prefer to run my virtual machines on SSDs because they're so much faster. And it also means that you can do things like testing and not worry about what it does to your bandwidth of your main disks. Plus, you can do stuff like have a RAID 0 SSD cache without worrying at all about whether or not you're gonna be losing a lot of files because for me, this is just testing stuff. I'm not having anything critically dependent on there. And if I did, I could easily just have regular backups to my main virtual machine. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good one, bye.